Thanks for choosing North America's leading wheelbarrow manufacturer. This step-by-step -step assembly video will help you quickly and easily put together your new wheelbarrow. Before beginning assembly, make sure you have all the components that you need. If you're building a poly tray wheelbarrow, you will not have risers. Instead, you'll have four small bolt retention clips. When you're pushing the tray bolts through the tray, place the clip on the outside of the hole, push the bolt through the clip as well. This will hold the bolt in place during assembly. If you're building a total control wheelbarrow, be sure to attach the total control grips to the handles before beginning the rest of the assembly. Simply slide a grip onto the end of the handle and make sure the handle is firmly seated inside the grip. Turn the handle over and place a lock nut into one of the molded in pockets in the bottom of the grip. Turn the handle back over using your finger to hold the nut in place, push a bolt through the hole in the top of the grip, through the handle and into the lock nut. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the nut and bolt and then repeat this to attach the second nut and bolt and firmly secure the grip to the handle. First step is to push the tray bolts through the tray and through the riser. Make sure that the wide, tall part of the riser is facing the front of the tray and then push the bolt through the bottom of the tray and through the riser. You'll note as you do this that there are flanges molded into the riser. They actually grab the bolt while you're pushing it through. This will help you later in the assembly process. Flip the tray over and you'll note that those flanges are now holding the bolts upright so they don't fall down through the bottom of the tray. When installing the handles, make sure that the grip part of the handle is toward the back of the tray. Carefully place the handle over the bolts and seat it on the riser. Repeat this for the other handle. The next step is to attach the legs. Make sure the holes in the legs are facing the back of the tray and carefully place a leg over the exposed bolts and seat it against the handle. Use the nuts to loosely attach the leg to the handle. Just finger tighten the nuts. Repeat this for the other leg. Again, loosely attaching the leg with the nuts. Now we're going to attach the leg brace. When attaching the leg brace, make sure that the short side of the leg brace is oriented toward the tray and the long side of the leg brace is oriented toward the bottom of the legs. Attaching the leg brace is very easy. Just place the leg brace against the back of the legs, use a short bolt through the leg and through the leg brace, and loosely secure it with a nut. Again, just finger tighten, don't tighten it with a wrench yet. Repeat this on the other side, attaching the other side of the leg brace to the other leg. Again, use a short bolt and a nut and just finger tighten so that it's loosely attached. Repeat the process again using two more of the short uh, bolts and nuts to complete the attachment of the leg brace. Now we're going to attach the wheel guard. Simply place the wheel guard over the front of the handles and using two and a quarter inch bolts and nuts, Pass a bolt through the wheel guard and through the handle, and then loosely attach with a nut. Again, finger tighten at this point. Repeat this for the other side, passing the bolt through the wheel guard, through the handle, and then using a nut, hand tightening it to loosely attach the wheel guard. When assembling the wheel guard, make sure that you're pushing the bolt from the outside in so the rounded part of the bolt is facing the outside. At this point, take your half inch wrench or socket and fully tighten the wheel guard bolts. Next step is the axle brackets. Make sure the long end of the axle bracket is pointing to the inside of the wheelbarrow. Using the two and three quarter inch bolts, place an axle bracket on the bottom of the handle and push a bolt up through the bolt hole closest to the wheelbarrow. Loosely secure the axle bracket to the handle using a nut hand tightened only. Again, don't tighten with a wrench yet. Now take a front brace, take a second two and three quarter inch bolt, pass it up through the bottom of the front brace, then put that through the handle and then through the axle bracket. And again, use a nut to loosely secure that axle bracket front brace assembly to the bottom of the handle. At this point, take your axle Pass the axle through the wheel assembly, make sure it comes through both ends of the bearing, then slide one end of the axle into the axle bracket that you just installed. 
take your second axle bracket, slide that over the other end of the axle, and then repeat that process using two and three quarter inch bolts to secure the axle bracket and front brace to the other handle. Again, make sure that you're loosely tightening these bolts. Now we're going to assemble the tray brace to the tray. Take a three quarter inch bolt, pass it through the tray, going from the inside of the tray to the outside, and then pass it through the top of the tray brace. Use a nut to loosely attach the top of the tray brace to the tray. Simply repeat this process to attach the second tray brace to the tray. Now we're going to align the wheel assembly. To do this, push the axle brackets together, pinching the wheel assembly between them, and then slide the whole assembly back and forth, eyeballing the wheel to get it centered between the handles. Once you have the wheel in position, hold down one of the brackets and use your half-inch wrench or socket to completely tighten the bolts on that side. After you've tightened those two bolts, repeat this for the other side, securing the entire wheel assembly. Now it's time to tighten the rest of the bolts. Start by tightening the bolts holding the legs down, and then tighten the bolts holding the leg guard. You'll notice these small bolts are slotted. It may help to use a screwdriver to help hold the bolt as you tighten the nuts. Once you finish tightening all of the leg guard nuts, move on to the nuts that are holding the tray braces in. Again, these three quarter inch bolts do have slots in them. It may help to use a screwdriver while you're tightening these bolts. That's all there is to it. You're ready to go. Thanks again for your purchase, and I hope you enjoy your new wheelbarrow for years to come.